hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel um as you can tell by the description of this video we will be personalizing a dollar tree um christmas stocking using some htv just regular um white htv that i bought from my local supplier um this i wanted to show you the tag um a lot of times people ask where did you get your items from and sometimes you know they want to be able to see it but it's it's from dollar tree you know dollar tree has the green bar international i hope you can see that um so yeah it was only a dollar it is the buffalo check which is like all of the rage now and it's got this little furry i have no clue what that is <laughs> so anyway um i wanted to show you guys how to personalize these just using regular um white htv now one of the biggest things with this this fuzzy stuff tends to shed it's all cute and everything but you know it's it's all over this um stocking so the biggest thing you want to do is you want to get your handy dandy lint roller and um remove anything that may be any loose hairs or anything that may be on here that'll help your vinyl adhere a little bit better but then also so you won't have like a hair or something sticking out from uh the design so i'll go ahead and lint roll that um one tip that i wanted to add right quick before i press this you know a lot of people ask um and, and i have people ask me how do you um determine the size of your design when you're designing something i got this little bitty ruler from um craft closet uh, it's right there y'all <laughs> it's my local um craft store i live here in montgomery alabama so this is a little bitty ruler um and this is how i determine how big i want um my design to be so i'll place the ruler at the end and right here it's a little bit over six inches i'll say six and a quarter um so when you're making your design of course you don't want it to go all the way to the end you kind of want it somewhere in between so i probably say maybe five five and a half inches across at the most um so whenever you're you know getting ready to to personalize or decorate an item this is how i determine how big i want my design to be and of course you know it, you know depending on how uh long or how high you want it to be of course you would measure that way so if you wanted to personalize this with the name going straight down then you would do the same thing take your ruler here and you know measure how long you may want it to be this is about 10 inches um long from where i have it so of course you would probably stop it there um so this is my son name and as you can see right here some of the hair from this stocking <laughs> has already stuck to the um to this uh vinyl the carrier sheet so yeah and i probably should have lint rolled it beforehand this font is called merry christmas i got it off of dafont.com d-a-f-o-n-t now mind you when you're downloading these fonts um these are for personal use only so i would not make and sell anything using a free font that i purchased from them so anyway i'm just going to place it right around here and it looks kind of centered to me now you know they have tools that you can use to um you know like t-shirt ruler guides or something like that but i'm just gonna eyeball it because after all it's only a stocking we're not gonna be wearing it so because there may be a pressure issue if you see this little fuzzy area is a little bit um thicker than this um than the actual stocking itself i'm gonna hang it off the edge of my heat press um so let me pull this down just a little bit more just because we want to get a good clean press because if your temperature is bad your vinyl may not adhere um so that's just something to think about especially when you're pressing items that have zippers um buttons and things of that nature that may cause a pressure issue now if you have a pressing pillow 
um, then you'll be fine. But I don't have one, so I'm just going to hang this furry edge off the end of my heat press. And I've got my heat press set at 325 degrees, and I'm going to press this for 14 seconds for the first time. Um, and then I'll remove my carrier sheet and press it again for an additional 14 seconds. Um, I've never used this type of material before, but it seems like it's going to press. It does not say on the back what the material is made of. So here's a moment of truth. We're going to go ahead, lift up that heat press and it looked like yeah it stuck pretty good now i'm not going to press this again because again we're not going to wash it and i'm not selling it um one way to tell that your vinyl well you kind of can't see um one way to tell that your vinyl has adhered you would be able to see the texture behind the vinyl but because of it being white um i can't you can't really see it i also wanted to give you another quick tip before i show this again so this is my name right here on white vinyl i haven't weeded it out because i want to show you guys this tip um i can't remember who, who it was that originally posted this but there was some and i'm in so many groups if you weed your vinyl on top of your heat press it should weed easier, and I've tried that a few times, and it just comes up like butter. Now, this is Caesar Easy Weed, so it weeds easily anyway. So, I just set it on here to kind of pick up some of the heat um, from this pad. And so, let me place it down. And you see it just, it just comes off a whole lot easier. Um, the heat just helps it weed a whole like i'm trying to weed it in the camera focus um but i guess it's the heat from this um bottom platen that makes it weed easier so that's a little tip and of course i'll weed these other parts out later um so that's a tip you know if you want it to uh while you you got your heat press warming up and if it's something that you forgot to weed at the last minute you can just go ahead and weed it on top of your heat press and the heat helps the the, the vinyl release so again this is the stocking after I've added the name to it. This is my son, Zion. Again, Buffalo Check is like all the latest rage. Um, and again, just, you know, in case nobody's paying attention, here is the stocking. This is how it comes in its packaging. And again, I purchased this stocking from the Dollar Tree. It was only a dollar. Um, if y'all are like me and last minute crafters, hurry, 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 because I had to go to a couple of Dollar Trees to find like the full set of four for everybody that I needed because all of the Christmas stuff at most of my Dollar Trees is picked over. So if you're like me, good luck with that. But then, you know, there's always Hobby Lobby, Michaels and Joann's, but I just like Dollar Tree in the event that we lose these or something. It's okay. I didn't spend a lot of money. So anyway, y'all know me. I'm not going to hold you long. I don't like super long videos. Um, so, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for being so loyal. Um, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video. Leave a comment down below if you found it helpful. Or leave a comment down below if you just want to say, hey, um, I want to upload another video before Christmas. But in the event that I do not, thank you guys so much. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year continue to be blessed and stay safe and i will upload another video shortly but until then toodaloo bye